I finally found the CVS that stocked all the new cosmetics products. Hey guys, what's up? So this is going to be a 100% drugstore, first impressions, review, whatever you want to call it. I got a whole bunch of new drugstore stuff in here and we're going to sit down and play. But first I need some coffee. The very first thing I got, and this I actually got in the mail from the free sample website I always use that I always have linked down below, but it is the new L'Oreal Hydra Genius. Okay, so I just have a little card like this. On this side it says, discover the genius of liquid care, 72 hours of ultra light intense hydration customized by skin type. So this one is made for, it's a matte finish it says, for normal to oily skin. And on the back um, it just says, liquid care delivers the ideal hydration for a fresh face with none of the shine. I know when I did this I checked the box for extra dry to dry because that's what I am. but. I don't know, maybe they ran out. Let me try and just rip it off. And I get a $2 off coupon as well. Okay, so we'll give this a try. And this could be like a little moisturizing base. Okay, so it's a just a clear formula. It smells, it has like a fresh, a fresh scent. It does smell like aloe a little bit. All right, so we'll see what that does. And then as a primer, I got this new Milani Prime Light Face Primer, Strobing Plus Pore Minimizing. Now, I was really, really interested in this. I have been waiting and trying to figure out like scientifically, like can you make a primer that is pore minimizing but also hydrating to the skin? And no one has ever done it. Like if you look at Smashbox, um, all of them, all of the pore minimizing primers are generally mattifying. And I'm like, is it even possible to make a pore minimizing primer that is still glowy and hydrating? And Milani at least claims that they've done it. So as soon as I found out Milani was le releasing this, I had to jump right on it. So I have not tried this yet. I have not read reviews on it. I have not done anything. So this is gonna be like a real first impression. On the back, it says that it primes skin to create a smooth canvas, hydrates and instantly brightens lackluster skin, can be applied past foundation for additional radiance, Lightweight with a natural luminous finish, universally flattering glow, and does not clog pores. So that's a lot of claims, Milani. So it's just a squeezy tube, and let's put some on my hand first. Should probably shake it up. Oh, it's very pearlescent looking. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit of shimmer. It's like a pearlescent goldy pink, a very light goldish pink. As far as pore minimizing goes, I don't know, but it is definitely shimmery. So let's try it out and see what happens. I don't know how much or how little I'm supposed to use, but it is definitely shimmery. The sides of my nose are generally where my pores are the worst and on this cheek. So the test will be how much my pores are coming through in those areas. But it is, it is shimmery, that is for sure. Like it is really luminous. It might be a little too glittery um, for me, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how it works. I did find both of the Milani lip, tr lip treatments, the Keep It Sweet Sugar Scrub and the Keep It Smooth Luxe Lip Treatment. These are brand new and they retail for about $10. I have been wanting these, I have been looking for these. I have literally ripped apart every drugstore in my area trying to find these and I finally, 20 minutes away from my house, found a CVS that was stocked full of new Milani products. Okay, so here they are. This is the scrub, this is the treatment. As you can tell, you do get a little bit more product with the scrub than you do with the treatment. I've heard really great stuff about this so far and I'm super excited. Let's do the scrub first. That's what it looks like inside. Oh my God. It smells like confetti cake. It literally smells like confetti cake. It smells amazing. Oh my God, I can smell that all day long. Let's take a little scoop. 
Oh yeah. So it's really, really gritty on the lips. Like there are a lot of sugar molecules in here. It works amazing. I already immediately like it a lot better than the one I have from Bite Beauty that I just talked about. It smells amazing. It tastes amazing. It seems like it works really, really well. So far, first impressions, I'm absolutely in love with this. So the next part of the treatment is the Keep It Smooth Luxe Lip Treatment. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's just a balm, just like the scrub. This one also has that confetti cake smell, but it's not as strong. But it is there and it smells amazing. And it feels really nice on the lips. It almost feels like, you guys know I love the Moisture Lock Oil. It almost feels like it's a more condensed, oil formula like it just melts right onto your lips and it feels really really nice moving right along now to foundation i got both of the l'oreal foundations the pro glow and the total coverage the newer total coverage funny story and i know i'm a little late to jump on the bandwagon with these but I have not had a good experience with L'Oreal foundation products in the past. Everyone raved about the True Match and the True Match Lumi foundations. I bought both of them and they just did not work for me. I hated them. I got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi cushion. You guys saw that video. I hated it. It didn't work for me. It didn't look right. So I was very, very hesitant once they started coming out with these infallible foundations. I figured that I just wouldn't like them, that I don't typically like L'Oreal foundations. And so as much as everyone raved about them, I just strayed away from buying them because I figured they just would not be for me. I finally gave in, I finally got them, and uh, I have been trying these out for like the past week and a half now, two weeks, going on two weeks. And I have to admit, I do really like both of them. What I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to use both of these and I have used them by themselves and I have mixed them together and used them both together just to save a little bit of time so you guys can see both of these in action. I am going to use both of them on my face. I'm going to use the infallible pro glow, pro glow on the inner parts of my face and the infallible total cover on the outer parts of my face so you guys can see what they are, what the differences are, what the similarities are right up front. So starting with the Pro Glow, this claims to have 24 hour foundation wear, it has SPF 15 in it, and it's a radiant dry finish and best suited for normal to dry skin. I definitely do agree with it. It is a very glowy foundation. It's extremely lightweight. Like I'm talking, this is so lightweight. I actually forgot I was wearing it and fell asleep with my makeup on one night. Not even kidding you. Forgot I was wearing it because it felt like there was nothing on my face and fell asleep with my foundation still on. That is how like both of these I have found are. This one you have to really, really shake up before you use it though. And even then you might see why you need to shake it. So it is just a typical squeezy tube and this one is extremely liquidy. Like really, really liquidy. So what I do is I don't even have to like push. It just kind of pours out on its own. And I just kind of dot it in the center parts of my face and just take a sponge and blend it in. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys in really quick so you can see why you have to shake it so good. Okay, see the little specks on my nose right here? That is from the foundation. It's whatever makes it glow, like whatever glowy stuff they put in. And if you don't shake the foundation up really well, I mean, it does just blend right in if you use your finger or your sponge or something but that is why you really really have to shake this because it just it separates very easily I guess inside the tube and that is what happens so it is possible if you're not careful to walk of the walk out of the house if you don't check your makeup really well and have those little glowy spots all over your face from using the pro glow foundation I don't know if you guys watch I think it's Kelly Stark, Kelly Strack, she talked about that in her review because the same thing happened to her when she first got the Pro Glow. So I'm just going in with a second layer now because it is a medium coverage foundation and I'm having a lot of acne right now so I could use that extra layer. <laughs> but as you can see, it is very glowy. It's very beautiful. But one of the downsides of it is that shimmery, glowy whatever it is 
Next, I want to talk about this guy, and this is the newer one that they released. It's the Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Weightless Feel Foundation. This stuff is a little cray cray, okay? Again, it says that it can last up to 24 hours. It's a natural finish with full coverage and air light feeling. So this, and I'm going to see if you could hear it. And there it goes but that noise you hear is actually like the product inside like it seems like it's just one giant clump just shifting around inside the tube it sounds a little unsettling I'm not gonna lie and no matter how much you shake it it seems to make that noise but it is a very very thick I don't want to say whipped formula because whipped makes it sound light and it's it is light, but it's extremely thick. You guys will see in a second, but it has a very small squeezy tube to come out of, which I personally really appreciate. And I'm just gonna put this, like I said, on the outer parts of my face, and you guys will see in a second just how full coverage it is. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So you guys can see I have all of this redness, acne, rosacea, eczema, all that good stuff. I got it, so here we go. So I'm just gonna take this, and basically just squeeze a line around the bottom part of my face. Take my sponge. And there you go. It's basically gone. As you can see, it's pretty much eradicated everything. And like I said, just like with the Pro Glow, this still feels incredibly light. For as full coverage as it is, I really cannot feel it on my skin. Like it's really... It, it's kind of amazing for as full coverage as it is how light it feels. So there's that side. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin where my acne is and blend it in. And there you go. In the Pro Glow, I wear number 203 Nude Beige. In the Total Cover, I wear the 304 Natural Buff. These two, I think, match me pretty darn well. And like I said, I've been wearing them for about two weeks, and I really have not a whole lot of complaints. So there's those. Moving right along to concealer, I got the new Milani concealer. I have heard absolutely nothing about this, so I have no idea what to expect. But it is the new Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I got the shade number two light. They had about four different shades. So this is what it looks like. It does have a tip that is very, very reminiscent of the Maybelline concealer that everybody loves. I don't know how I feel about that because I didn't really love the tip on the Maybelline one. I don't think I'm going to like it on this one, but we'll give it a try. Now you get to see all of my dark circles in their glory. So let me squeeze some of the concealer. There we go. And let's see what happens here. So this eye is not done and this eye is done. So what do you guys think? It looks okay. I mean, it's not full, full coverage. It's not the Tarte Shape Tape, but it does look nice. The question is, is it going to crease? Let's do this eye because this, this eye is notoriously the worst eye. I think it did a pretty good job. I mean, I'm always going to have this hollowness. I think it's not bad. We'll see what it does with creasing and... If it does increase by the end of the video, I, I say it's a win. It is a pretty light color though. You know what I am noticing though, and I think it's, I think it's this Milani primer. As I move my skin, I can literally see like little specks of glitter. And I don't like that because it looks like I just had a lot of glitter fallout all over my face in random spots. And I think that's from this. So this guy, might be a dud which makes me really sad because he was one of the ones I'm most excited about. I'll have to play around with him a little bit more and see but eh, maybe not this one. So I think that is all of the new stuff that I had to share with you that I got. Let me finish my face up really quick and uh, 
yeah all right so it is about 15 or 20 minutes later i just finished doing the rest of my makeup and i want to check in with you guys and give you my final thoughts on all of these new products that we just talked about. So starting off with the L'Oreal Hydrogenius. This felt really nice. It smelled like aloe. It feels like a typical moisturizer. If you're someone that's oily and you'd like to start with a matte base, I think the Daily Liquid Care, which is the one that I used, would do really well on you because it did kind of help to mattify the face and, you know, secure the makeup or whatever else I was putting on top of it. I did like that as a first impression. As for this Milani Prime Light, I don't know. I have to play around with it a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure that this is what caused me to have like little specks of glitter all over my face. Upon looking more closely at my cheeks and my nose area, I do feel like it did fill in pores a little bit. Not like a Benefit Professional or the Smashbox one, but it did do some pore filling. I think it's a nice concept and I really can't wait for more people to utilize a pore filling primer that is not mattifying. I've been waiting for that for a very long time. I just don't know if this is the one. Moving right along, I absolutely love the new Milani lip treatments, the scrub and the treatment. They smell amazing, they feel amazing, they do what feels like a very good job at exfoliating and nourishing your lips. The two L'Oreal Infallible Foundations, the Pro Glow and the Total Coverage, I've both really enjoyed so far, which like I said was very surprising because I do not typically enjoy L'Oreal face products. However, these two I think knocked it right out of the park. It just depends on what you're looking for and what you would rather if you would only rather one of them. As for this Milani Retouch and Erase Light lifting concealer. I do feel like it looks really nice under my under eyes. However, it has now been, like I said, 15 or 20 minutes since I applied it. And I do see just a little slight bit of creasing where I don't normally get creasing with the Tarte Shape Tape or a couple other ones. However, I don't feel like it's really severe. I feel like if you were to lightly set your under eyes with some powder, you could probably prevent it or, you know, just like with my Maybelline Fit Me, just take your ring finger and dab it across and it'll all blend right in place again. So far, I have been liking this as a first impression. And that is it. That is everything for this little first impressions, get ready with me, review, whatever it is that you want to call it for the drugstore. If you would like to see everything that I put on my face after that, it will all be listed down below. As always, any questions, comments, you know where to leave them. And if you like what I bring to YouTube every week, you can always just like this channel and hit that subscribe button. You can find me on all kinds of social media at Marcy underscore K with two eyes, just like it is here. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye.